Happening today, the Charlotte City Council expected to meet to discuss the future of the Silver Line. They'll debate adding a one cent sales tax that would help fund the project, but the plan is already at risk of being derailed. In a late night meeting, Matthews Town leaders voted to reject a similar proposal, but is it enough to actually take the plan off the tracks? WCNC Charlotte's Richard Devane live in Matthews this morning with all the details. Richard. Yeah, good morning. Good Tuesday morning. Uh, Matthews town leaders say they hope that their action will do more to derail this plan than let it go forth. But of course, that remains to be seen. Now, as we look at video, we want to tell you the, the genesis or how this all started. Matthews town leaders say they can't support that sales tax increase, which does not help its residents as well as the town. Now, the reason they're upset at the regional transit plan, because it no longer includes bringing the silver line here to Matthews. Town commissioners made the no vote unanimously last night at its regular meeting. Leaders say they were optimistic years ago about the proposed Silver Line rail that would go from the airport through Charlotte, ending in Matthews and, and Union County, but that was supposed to be part of the plan. But now they're upset that the Silver Line would end in Charlotte, and instead of the train, the light rail, all Matthews would get would be a bus line. We spoke to Mayor John Higdon, who told us what a light rail would mean for the town of Matthews. It's like South End here in Charlotte, lots of action, very vibrant. You don't get that from a bus station. Yeah. Um, and so we're going to be missing out on decades of uh, you know, uh, tax growth, tax revenue, and we just went to our nuses. Yeah. Yeah, also the fact that he says the fact that this transit plan now favors the red line and not the silver line. That's the line that goes up north toward um, Cornelius and areas like that. And now, of course, there are still many more steps to go in this process. And uh, could this ever get before voters? The earliest would be next year. We're right here in Matthews. Richard Avane for WCNC Charlotte.